Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Vasant Tesnai from Government First Aid College, Kumta. I have prepared this video for the BSc third semester of Radic University, Dharwad. In this video, I am going to explain you how to locate and derive the expression for cardinal points of thick lens. Let us first derive the position of second focal point. I will take a thick lens of first spherical surface of radius of curvature R1, the pole E, second spherical surface of radius of curvature R2, pole D, smaller t is the thickness of the spherical, sorry, t is the thickness of the lens, is the principal axis which is passing through the pole of the spherical surfaces, AB is the incident light which is incident at height h1 above the principal axis, is h1 is the height above which the incident light travels and this is the refracted light from the first spherical surface which is incident at height h2 above the principal axis and is refracted from the second spherical surface along cf2 f2 is the second focal point so how to find the distance of the second focal point from the pole of the second spherical surface. Because according to the same convention, we have to measure all the distances from the pole along the principal axis. That is, you have to find the distance D of 2. Extrapolate AB in the forward direction, F2C in the backward direction, the meet at the point h2 and the point h2 we have to draw a plane which is passing through h2 and perpendicular to its axis we get a p2 that's the second principal point the distance between p2 and f2 is focal length of thick lens remember this is the case when both the spherical surfaces are present let us imagine that the second spherical surface is absent. That is, in the presence of the first spherical surface only, the refracted light BC it travels without any deviation because you have to imagine that there is only one spherical surface. That is, in the absence of the second spherical surface, the light ray BC travels without any deviation and it reaches the principal axis at the point I. Now let us draw the expression for second focal point position. Here there are two pairs of similar triangles here H2, P2, F2, CD, F2 is a one pair here. And the second pair is B, E, I and C, D, I, another pair of the triangles. Now, the ratio here, the distance H2, P2 is equal to P, E. So from the H2, P2, F2 and C, D, F2 similar triangles, H1 by H2 ratio of h1 by h2 is equals to p2 f2 divided by df2 from the triangle dei and cdi e the ratio h1 by h2 is equals to ei divided by di now, you can write 1 by df2 as ei by di into, I have to take the reciprocal here, 
1 by df equals to i by dy into 1 by e2 f2. But we know the distance p2 f2 is the focal length of the sequence. So if I have to substitute the value here, if 1 by df2 value becomes ei by di into 1 by f, which is the equation here. 3. Now, from equation 3, we can write df2 as k3 is equals to di by ei into f. Now, we know from the diagram that is the di is equals to ei minus ed. Remember, di is equals to ei minus ed. It is here the distance di we can write as the distance di is equals to e i minus e d that is d i is equals to e i minus e d e d is t therefore d i is equals to e i minus t so therefore have to substitute here d i is equals to e i minus e d that is d i is equals to e i minus t now, so prove the value of di here, di is ei minus t, therefore df2 is equals to f2 to ei minus t uh, uh, to divided by ei, ei, ei get cancelled, we get 1 minus t divided by ei, therefore df2 is equals to f2 to 1 minus t divided by ei. Now, substituting the value of equation 1. We know the value of the equation 1, 1 by r equals to n minus 1 divided by nr1. So this is the equation 1. This equation I have used as equation 1 because already I have explained you in my previous video while deriving the expression for focal length of a thick lens. That's why you can watch my previous video on focal length of a thick lens in order to understand the expression for 1 by i is equals to n minus 1 divided by nr1. So therefore, how to substitute the value of equation 1. This is the equation 1 here. In the equation df2, the for df2 is equals to f into 1 minus t into n minus 1 divided by nr minus 1. Because the df2 is equals to f into 1 minus t substitute the value of 1 by ei, ei is equals to n minus 1 divided by nr1. So this is the expression for the position of the second focal point from the second spherical surface this df2 is equals to f for the length of the thick lens thickness of small letter t is the thickness of the thick lens the refractive index and r1 is the radius of curvature of the first spherical surface please remember for f2 that is for df2 it is r1 now, let us derive the expression for the second foc uh, sorry, first focal point, the first focal point F1, the position of the F1 from E, we have to find the distance EF1. So in order to find the position of the first focal point F1, consider a ray traveling from right to left side. So in the diagram I have mentioned here, A dash, P dash is traveling from right to left. B dash, C dash is the refracted from ray from the second spherical uh, from the second spherical surface. C dash F1 is the emergent ray. F1 is the first focal point. Now we have to locate the first focal point from the pole of the first spherical surface of the thick lens. 
Now, we have to interchange R1 to R2 and the signs of F, R1 and R2 have to change. That is, we have to change the sign from plus to minus, minus to plus. Now, the distance of the focal point F from the pole E is given by is the expression Tf1 equals to minus F into 1 minus T into n minus 1 divided by minus nr2. When you get this equation, already we have derived this expression. There is the position of the second focal point from the pole of the second spherical surface. I have derived this expression here, df is equals to f into 1 minus t into n minus 1 and r1 in, a, in our previous slide. So, I have, I have taken this equation from my previous slide here. So, therefore, in, the, in this equation, instead of df2, you have to write the expression for ef1. ef1 is equals to r2 change the sign here, sign of F, R1 and R2 we have to change, it is plus F, plus F becomes minus F into 1 minus T n minus 1, I have to change the sign of R1, it is you have to interchange from R1 to R2 here, I have interchanged R1 to R2 and put the negative sign. Therefore, this equation becomes EF1 is equal to minus F into uh, minus divided by minus becomes plus. Therefore, EF1 equals to minus F into 1 plus T into N minus 1 divided by NR2. This is the expression for position of the first focal point from the pole of the spherical surface that is EF1 equals to minus F into 1 plus T N minus 1 divided by N R2. Now, let us derive the expression for second principal point. Where I have to take spherical surface of the base of curvature R1 and Second spherical surface of radius of curvature R2, E and D are the pole of these spherical surfaces. This is the thickness and this is the principal axis. It is the incident light, it is the incident at right H1, which is the factor along BC at a height H2, and it refracts along C of 2. Here, up to the second focal point, extrapolate AB is the, in the forward direction, you have to see in the backward direction, we meet at the point H2, you have to draw a principal plane, you get principal point, the distance between T2, you have to use focal length of the thick lens. Now we have to find the distance of second principal point into from the pole of the second spherical surface. That is, you have to find the distance D P2. It's not P to D because I have to measure all the distances from the pole along the principal axis. But here, I'll derive the expression now to write here P to D. It's not D A P to here. You have to write here always measure the distances from left to right. Therefore, here P two D that's equals to P two F two minus D F two. The length P two D is equals to P two F two minus D F two. But we know the distance P two F two is nothing but focal length. And already we have derived the expression for position of the second focal point from the pole of the second spherical surface D F two. If I know the value of P2F2 and DF2, substitute, we have to substitute the value here. Therefore, this first equation becomes P2D is equal to substitute the value of P2F2 as F and DF2 value as F into 1 minus P 
e into n minus 1 divided by nr1. Here you have to multiply with f. This equation becomes f minus f minus f into tn minus 1 divided by nr1. Therefore, here plus f and the minus f get cancelled. We get e to d is equal to f into f into t into n minus 1 divided by nr1. We have find the distance p to d here, but our intention is to find the position of the second principal point p2 from the pole. That is, we have to measure the distance d p2. Therefore, d p2 is equals to minus p to d. d p2 is equals to minus p to d. Therefore, d p2 is equals to minus f into t n minus 1 divided by nr1. So this is the method to find position of the second principal point from the pole of the second spherical surface that is dp2 is equals to minus f into t into n minus 1 divided by nr1. And this is the expression what we have to derive now, this is, I have to locate the first, uh, the first principal point. Now, let us derive the expression for position of the first focal point from the first spherical surface you see how to consider this diagram. This is the last expression I have to find. That is how to find how to locate the first principal point. Now this is the diagram that we use here. Now we have to locate the first principal point. Here you have to locate the first principal point P1 from the pole of the first spherical surface. That is, you have to find the distance EP1. And already we know that. Now to find the position of the first principal point, you have to consider a ray traveling from right side to left side. This will now this is the light which is traveling from left is from the right side to left side and we get f1 and we get corresponding p1 here now to locate p1 from the point e for that have to interchange from r1 to r2 and have to change the sign of f r1 and r2 Therefore, the distance of first focal uh, principal point P1 from E is given by that is EP1 is equals to EP1 that is equals to uh, actually out right here. This is the this is, not, this is the first principal point here. Yeah. So this is the first principal point, EP1 is equals to F into T N minus 1 divided by N into minus NR2. Here, we have to use this equation. Already uh, derived this expression in the previous slide. This is, the, this is the expression dp2 is equals to minus f into p and minus 1 divided by n of 1. Here we have to change the sign that is minus f becomes plus f and nr1 changes to nr2. This we have to change from interchange r1 to r2. And you have to change the sign also. We have plus R1, you have to change this to 
minus R2. The further is the expression becomes EP1 is equal to minus F into T into N minus 1 divided by NR2. So this is the expression for the position of the first principal point from the first uh, from the wall of the spherical surface. EP1 is equal to minus F into T into N minus 1 divided by NR2. And if the BDM is same on both sides of the surfaces, then the principal points P1 and P2 sides would be nodal points M1 and N2. That is P1 and P2 are point side. Therefore, the distance EP1 is equals to EN1, the distance dp2 is equals to dn2 here we have derived the expression for ep1 as the expression we have derived the expression for dp2 now to remember these two equations and also we have derived Position of the focal points DF2, the second focal point DF2, first focal point PF1, and nodal points coincide with the principal points. This is the summary of this video. Thanks for watching.